Okay, Matten. Two two ninety. Let's try this. D4 now, I'm tempted because when I see F5, I think D4 counter attack in the center. Plays E4, get, maybe get the F4 square. Okay. D5 and C4. Or have I given him what he wanted? This uh, this pawn chain. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. Uh, this knight can play a six. We play knight b four. On the other hand, knight g three. Trying to get e four. F five control. Can I dare play knight f5 of f4? What should I take first? Play e4, trying to vote f4. Bishop d3. Mm, knight a6 is coming though. So how about just how about h4? Oh, I'll just cast queen side. Alright, if I play h4. Is this harmless? And then queen back, a4. Maybe that's okay. Okay, h4. So this diagonal, trying to underbind it. Oh, which is not having. It's going to be like e4. Or oh, this knight has to move back. Okay, if this knight moves back, can I get in. Um, right, look here, knight here, g4. Knight h2 to f2, then g4. Or is this all too slow? I don't know. If I play a4 to stop b5, he's got c6, so I'm going to take. Takes, he's going to get the b5 and follow that, so a4, b4, and it's a3. So what about just bishop a1? So a4, b4, without allowing a3. If he plays c6, that is a problem, but maybe I just ignore it and try and get control of d5. Okay, I'll let him have that um, h pawn. I want to play g4, I think. I'm just going to use this diagonal against my king. Okay, so I need more preparation, I think. Uh, g3 and knight f2 and bishop h3 and g4. Or oh, f4. How about this diagonal? f4. Oh, oh I don't know. That will close up things too much. Alright, there's a problem here. This knight and this bishop against my king. Um, so bishop h3 maybe to try and get rid of that bishop. So I can start to use this g-file realistically without getting slaughtered. Mind you, e4. You can take. Take on d7, take on e4. Right, if I just build up with rook, doubling up rooks, then play g4, but he's going to play f4, play e4. God. Um, I'm getting slaughtered. All right. F four here. Oh, I think G four has to be played. Tanks, tanks. So I could lose a pawn for nothing. We'll still push bishop at five. And that's here. G takes. Rook G6. G takes. Knight F2. Rook G6. Maybe that's not so bad. I'll try that. Uh, G5. E4. Tanks. Oh, 
I'll take it like this. Oh, I'll try this. I don't know. Just losing a whole bishop. If I take that, what F4? E4. Blimey. Very, very big thing. <laughs> G takes knight E2. Alright, let's play knight E2. So I think I'm threatening f4. If he takes f4, takes rook g5 check. Right, can I just get get another pawn now? Yeah. Uh, let's try and pin this knight for a sec. Mm. F4 now. Still trying for this. Maybe knight takes f4 is handy. Mind you, e4 could be collapsing, but takes takes I'm attacking the rook. Actually, look at that lag. He's got 1 minute 50 after all that. That was just a total lag for a minute. Oh, oh so I haven't got any time advantage. <laughs> I just got lost position. Oh dear. Oh dear. Anyway, what is he doing about this rook? Is he just doing that? Take care. Okay. Um, right. Maybe knight d3. So e falls dropping off as well. Or is it? Uh, maybe not here, because of this pin. Oh, okay, king's under fire. I'll just check. This works like out to b2 for the moment. And get into f7. Just play queen c3. Time calling you free. Maybe. Alright, would I be getting mated if I have to? Probably. So that's probably not a good idea. King over here. Hmm. He's got a nice tactic coming up. It's a shame. Can I take without getting mated? That's knight d2 check. Ah, oh, that's sad. King here. Six seconds. Maybe I'm threatening. I might be threatening. Oh, this. It's got queen. Oh. I think. Ouch. Rook G1 is killing. No, I'm on C3. I'm on B2. I have no idea. <laughs> Bishop takes, queen takes, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm pinning the queen. Uh, so has he got massive lag or has he got 12 seconds left? Uh, it's going to be the longest 5 minute game. I don't know, I'll take. Has he really got 5 seconds left? In which case I'll just play this position. <laughs> oh, we did lose on time, okay. There was a bit of pressure there, that's the I am. Uh, okay, I know, I was pieced down for nothing. <laughs> it's the usual story. It's becoming a repetitive story, but I don't know, it's difficult to play. Uh... 
<sighs> when, you, when you lose the H4 pawn, it's, the position becomes a bit more desperate. That H4 was just trying to attempt to sort of get an attack, but um, I'm losing the bishop here. I mean, if I'd taken, problem is, if I'd taken here, he just takes on G4, he gets the F file, gets everything else. I just didn't seem to have any compensation, so I think this was a, the only way to sort of mix things up. Well, one of the ways to mix things up. But, um, yeah, got a bit. Uh, Harry, so so if I had taken here knight d2 check, four king, queen and king, rook takes, then queen takes e4, so this was the only move to survive, and uh, yeah, it's just very short on time. Come, please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.